We are here with Jeep at round two of the World Surf League in Bells Beach, Victoria. This is one of Australia's iconic surf events held at the spiritual home of surfing. It began way back in 1961 and turned professional in 1973. It is the world's longest running professional surf event. It was even sponsored by Australian Crawl back in 1984 and 1985. But it's not only Bells Beach that attracts people to this area. This is also the gateway to the stunning Great Ocean Road, one of Australia's most scenic drives. The road winds its way along a relatively untouched coastline, providing the perfect backdrop for surfing, fishing, off-roading, or simply enjoying the scenery. We have with us a Jeep Compass and a Jeep Grand Cherokee, both are the Trailhawk models geared towards the adventurous types, and I for one cannot wait to explore this majestic area. We've based ourselves in Torquay, but our playground really stretches from the comp site at Bells Beach, down past Lawn and around to Apollo Bay. There the Great Ocean Road ducks inland through the Otway National Park. These surf events are a great way to mingle with the stars and through the Jeep Association we managed to catch up with Geordie Smith and Malia Manuel, two of Jeep's ambassadors on the world tour. The best things I think I love about this place is that the people are so warm and welcoming. Um, every single year that we come back here, they just welcome us with open arms. Um, of course there's some incredible waves and some great landsca landscapes, but um, beyond that I just, I, you know, I just really fit in well here and I just feel at home. I am currently driving the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, I would say it's my favourite of the lot. Um, I like to try and search and check out a couple new surf spots. You know, I think it's, it's the best thing is that it's just an adventure. No matter whether you score or not, it's just about getting lost and you get lost in comfort, so that's the best thing. Bells Beach is so iconic and it's been the longest running event on the world tour. It's been here on the tour every year and it's um, Easter holidays. You see so many kids down at the beach and it's just a great arena for surfing. Having support from Jeep means a lot. I am so set up every event I go to. I have a car and I don't have to worry about that. And so that really helps with reassurance and preparation. I think that's a big thing for me is being prepped for the events. My dad's first car ever when he was 16 was a Jeep Wrangler. So it's pretty classic to it uh, came full circle. And now that I get the support from Jeep and um, you know, he supported Jeep when he first <laughs> was a teenager. I'd love to get on the trails out back behind Bells. I think um, this is such a great environment for a car like a Jeep. And so to have a vehicle that you know is going to support you wherever you go off road and um, around this great ocean road is pretty spectacular. We also had the chance to catch up with the CEO of the World Surf League, Sophie Goldschmidt. Now, Sophie, how does having an association like you do with Jeep help you put on these sorts of events? Yeah, it's hugely important. I mean, Jeep is one of our most important partners by far, and for a variety of reasons. It's a great brand fit. Um, Jeep's authenticity with adventure, with exploration, with having the best-in-class technology and automobiles is exactly what we want to be known for as well. So for us, it's a really synergistic partner, um, just from a brand perspective. But I think also practically, we're in some pretty remote locations. Um, we need vehicles that can get us across all sorts of terrain. Um, and also, just practically, we need to get between the hotels to the site, um, taking the surfers around, VIP guests, and just start. Now you told me earlier that you have a proper off-road vehicle, a Wrangler Rubicon. Where's your favourite place to take that? Well, I'm very fortunate. I live in uh, Los Angeles, so there's some great coastal roads. So PCH is one of my favourite drives and um, yeah, no, uh, the Wrangler's perfect. Depending on the weather temperature, I can either have the top down or just be uh, bundled up inside. But it's a lot of fun to drive. It's very different to driving another type of car. So when I want to relax and have a bit of fun, it's a perfect vehicle to take at those moments. Sophie, thank you so much for taking the time to have a chat to us today at Bills and good luck with the rest of the tour. With the swell still three to four foot, they've decided to put the comp on hold. 
they're waiting for better conditions tomorrow. So I've taken this opportunity to jump into the Grand Cherokee and head off down the Great Ocean Road. I have a reliable source that informs me that there are some brown trout located in some of the streams that are littered along the road, and I'm hoping to catch one. There are streams all along the Great Ocean Road and a short walk upstream will get you to the fresh water and the chance of tussling with a trout. Times like this where you need a net. That is awesome little brown trout just off the Great Ocean Road. We stopped at a river, followed it upstream, got to the first pool. I wasn't really sure, looked pretty dark, but we've come away with a beautiful little brown trout. Goes to show, if you do the miles, you can find the fish along this stretch of road. It's hard not to like fishing in a place like this though, I've got to say. If a brown trout is not your thing, try Lawn Pier for salmon, whiting or squid. And if that doesn't work, grab a table at the Seafood Pier restaurant and bar. Jeep's trail rated certified vehicles are put through a series of gruelling tests designed to prove off-road performance on the world's most demanding terrain. The trail rated badge attests that the vehicle has been designed to successfully pass five performance test categories, which are traction, water fjording, manoeuvrability, articulation, and ground clearance. One of the great features of the Trailhawk spec is the hill descent control, or in the Grand Cherokee, the select speed function. You access it via the panel in the center of the vehicle, and it allows you to control the speed of the vehicle going down a hill. At the moment, we're cruising at two kilometers an hour, and the car is doing all of the work. I'm nowhere near the brake and nowhere near the accelerator. I can adjust the speed using the paddles up or down. And if I want to go a little bit faster, I just tap the up paddle. And if I want to slow down a little bit, go down. It's a great feature and it allows the average driver to control the vehicle and only concentrate on the steering part of the driving and let the car do the rest. The Compass is smaller than the Grand Cherokee, but has just as much ability. It's fitted with the next generation four-wheel drive system, which makes it a very capable off-roader. When off-road, you may experience some wheel lift, and as long as it's not extreme, it's nothing to be worried about. The Quadra drive system will automatically stop power going to the wheel that's in the air. It will then redirect the engine torque to the wheels with the most traction, enabling the car to continue moving forward. The going uphill is just as easy. I like to use low range for this and first gear, which I manually select on the gear shifter. And then is a simple process of applying a little bit of throttle to get up a hill and the car does the rest, automatically driving the wheels that have the most traction and therefore reducing slippage and making sure it's a nice, smooth ascent to the top. For the adventure driven, there are plenty of tracks to be discovered in the Otways, and with vehicles like these underfoot, you'll be able to get to some amazing places. For a family, there is a ton of room in the back of the Grand Cherokee. It's easily accessible, and the luggage rails make light work of sliding in your cargo. All Jeep 2018 models are backed by a there and back guarantee. It delivers a five year transferable warranty, five years cap price servicing through Jeep, and a lifetime roadside assist when you service through Jeep. A 
Aside from Bells, there are plenty of other places to surf along the Great Ocean Road. Pull into any of the Oceanside pullover bays and you should see the waves from where you park. Between the Bells Beach surfing competition and the Easter holidays, there are literally people everywhere. But with the right car and a little bit of that adventurous spirit, you can get a slice of this iconic area all to yourself. <laughs>